Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. It has been forever, forever since I have done a Dollar Tree haul. Do they even do Dollar Tree hauls anymore? Well, we're gonna do one today because I went to the Dollar Tree. It's been forever since I've gone to the Dollar Tree. I picked up a bag of goodies. I'm gonna do a DIY. I haven't had a whole lot of time to do much since we moved to our Florida place here. We're, um, we're actually still kind of working on this place. This is gonna be kind of like our vacation place, um, but we're living here while we're flipping a couple of other houses in the area. So, I haven't really spent a whole lot of time like decorating here, but I figured this is like our first full year being here. I want to start decorating again. So I went to Dollar Tree. I picked up some really, really cute things. Like I said, I haven't been there in forever. So let's show you what I got. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on that little notification bell so you're notified whenever I post a new video. All right, let's All get right. started. So I picked up some great things at Dollar Tree today. And I can't really call it Dollar Tree anymore because it's not really Dollar Tree. It's a Dollar twenty-five tree. When did they change that? I know they did, but I don't know. It's disappointing. Anyhow. I am going for kind of like this mid-century kind of style in our house here. And so I've been kind of like flipping through Pinterest, kind of trying to get ideas on different things that um, I'd like to do DIY for the fall for the house. So while I was there, I had that in mind. And so I grabbed items that I thought would work well with that kind of like mid-century, modern, boho kind of feel. I saw these really cute little votive holders. I love the glass. I love the cut glass. I love the gold accents. These are super cute. They had a bunch of them. They had some red ones, um, but I love this kind of color theme. I love the greens. I love kind of like the champagne-y color. And then this um, like bubble glass look is super kind of like art deco. Um, and so yeah, for $1.25 each on these ones, I thought these were like a must. I had to get these because I can definitely do something with these. As you can see, I kind of have like the greens and the beiges and the browns and stuff going on in my decor here. So these will fit very well with what I have. Now I always search for the succulents whenever I go to Dollar Tree. Um, sometimes you, you you find them, sometimes you don't. The last few times I've been, like I said, I haven't been in a, quite a while, but the last few times I've been, I've never seen them. So when I saw a big, like full box of them this past time, I grabbed some and I tried to find colors that were gonna be good for the fall. Um, yes, we're here in Florida, it doesn't like feel the same as it did when we were in New York where the leaves start to change, the air starts to get crisp. Um, it's warm here all the time, <laughs> but I still like to keep that kind of fall theme going on in my house. So by adding like those fall colors back in with like a little bit of tropical, um, that's what I was trying to accomplish with these. So as you can see, I got this one right here, which has got some like kind of pink tones with the green. I got some of these golden colored ones and then this nice green one with like pops of like deep burgundy. Okay, so I found this green garland. They had like three or four different types of the green garland at Dollar Tree. I liked this one because it was kind of like a nice light, um, almost like a fern type of a look. And I thought this would go really good kind of with these succulents somehow. Again, I have no idea what I'm making yet with this, but sometimes I'll just shop and I'll put things together. And then once they're together, like something will pop. So I grabbed two of them. We'll see what I come up with. Um, I love the garlands that they have. So I also found this really cute kind of medallion floral. I think it's a candle holder. It's a little small dish. Um, it was in the candle holder section. It was the only one that I saw, but how cute is that? That looks like it's something that would come from like Home Goods or Pier One or something, not Dollar Tree, but really cute. All right, I also picked up just some regular plain white tea lights. Again, I bought these, you know, those little tea light holders. I figured I need some tea light candles to go in them. Um, I bought two bags of popsicle sticks, just the little craft sticks. Um, I'm loving like that wooden chevron kind of um, look to things. So I might use these, and make kind of like a chevron pattern on something. Um, so they're just kind of nice to have on hand. 
grab two packages of those. This is the first time I have seen these knitting needles. They are just aluminum, silver, four millimeter knitting needles. And the first thing I saw, or the first thing that popped in my head when I saw these was those mid-century modern atomic starburst style wall hangings or clocks and where they have like the long silver um, like starbursts coming off of them. And I thought this would be like a great idea for a DIY. I can use these needle, knitting needles to make kind of like these starburst um, pops off of some sort of a wall hanging. So these were sitting on a hang tag um, right over near all of the yarn. Now, I don't know when Dollar Tree added yarn section, but they have a whole yarn section and they have knitting needles now. So then I found these two, which I've never seen these there before. Look at these. These are those little hanging shelves. Now I have a few of these hanging around my house here already that I actually picked up from Goodwill. Um, and I redid them, I repainted them, but yeah, they have these at Dollar Tree now. You get one little shelf with the hanging um, cord and the hanging ring um, for $1.25. That's not bad, little wall shelf. I grabbed three of these. So I will definitely do something with those. This was like a random sporadic thing, bamboo skewers. Again, I was kind of thinking texture. Um, I was kind of thinking that like layered texture look in my DIY somewhere. So I did grab some of those, maybe kind of go along with the popsicle sticks. All right, these, I don't think I'm gonna use these anytime soon. I think I'm gonna save these for Christmas because I am gonna do a full on mid-century Christmas this year. I'm gonna try to do quite a few different ornaments, um, old fashioned retro looking ornaments. And I thought these would be really perfect to make some ornaments with. They're like these little just aluminum fluted pans that have a hang tag. Um, they were in the craft section in the crafter square section. They had a whole, bun whole bunch of different ones. They had stars, they had um, like flowers, but I love that kind of like little tart shape with the scalloped edge. And to me, this was, you know, very um, 1950s looking. So I did grab three of these. I'm gonna set these aside for Christmas as I'm starting to collect some of my Christmas um, decorating items. So I thought those were a good little buy and you know, don't know if I'd find them again. So I wanted to make sure I grabbed some. Okay, I also picked up two of these bicycle wheel and they're a wreath ring and it was over in the um, the gardening section. And again, I didn't know what I was gonna do with them. I'm not gonna keep them a bicycle ring. I was still thinking more of that like mid-century starburst kind of look. Maybe I can do something with these. I was thinking of maybe possibly making like a wall clock with it or I don't know, I'm not sure but I bought two of them because that's what I do. Okay, last but not least, when did Dollar Tree start having these wallpaper, peel and stick wallpaper pages? But how fun is that like retro print right there? Love this, it's just white and gold, a diamond kind of print with the white background. You can kind of see it's gold. I grabbed four of these. Yes, they're not huge pieces, and if you were gonna do a whole wall, you would need quite a few of them. But for $1.25 each, I mean, these would be great to line like the back of a cabinet with. They would be great to um, do a drawer in, like if you were making over like a dresser drawer or something, you could do that. It's kind of like contact paper. You just peel it and stick. Um, but yeah, it tells you how to do it right on the back. I've not seen this before. So I grabbed a, a handful of these only because I really like the print. They have some ideas on the back. Yeah, they did like the back of a cabinet. They did the front of stairs. Lots of different ideas you could do with these um, like wallpaper pieces. So we'll find something to do with them. Okay, so that's what I got at the Dollar Tree today. Hope you enjoyed this haul video. Make sure you stick around so you can see what I do with some of this stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm going to definitely do something. So hit that subscribe button, turn on the little notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up, and we will see you again very soon. Have a great day, take care.